Hi, church family. I'm Grant Udy. Today we find ourselves in Psalm 119. Okay, let's get started. Psalm 119, verse 1. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. You may be wondering if my approach today is to read Psalm 119 to you. We're going to be here for a very, very long time. And that's because Psalm 119 is the longest psalm. Not only that, it's the longest chapter in the Bible. So rather than read it to you, which uh, hopefully you will find time today to read through Psalm, psalm 119, um, I want to give you an approach or a way of thinking as you go through this chapter today. And the first of that is the theme. And I think you'll see that the theme of Psalm 119 is the Word of God. In fact, almost every verse has at least some reference to the Word of God. So be on the lookout for um, those references or synonyms for God's Word. Some of those might be His precepts or His decrees or His law. And so look for those as you read through um, the verses. Um, the other thing is a pattern, that a recurring pattern that we see, and that is... Um, our actions or attitudes about God's word, and when we do that, what is the result? So let's see that play out in several verses. Um, so let's start, and actually we see that pattern in the verse, uh, verse 1 that I just read. It says, Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. So here we see that our action with regard to God's word is to walk according to to God's word. And then the result of that is that we're blessed and that our way is blameless. Another verse that we see that pattern is, is in verse 11, which is actually the verse that we're memorizing um, this, this week. Verse 11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So here we see that the action is to hide God's word in our heart. Um, the result of that is that we might not sin against God. We can see this play out in Jesus' life. In fact, when he was on earth and he was tempted by Satan, he quoted Old Testament scripture that he had memorized. And that was his way of resisting temptation. And so um, I think this is, if we go through, um, we can see that God's word plays a great role in our hearts and our minds um, throughout the day. Um, my prayer for you is also that as you read through Psalm 119, that God will bring one verse to mind or something that you can take with you and apply. For me, um, that was verse 20. Verse 20 says, my soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. When I read that, I was taken aback by how how extreme that is, but it is a, an extreme and a lofty goal um, that I think should be for every believer, and that would be to be consumed with and to be longing for God's Word, not just during a 10-minute or 15-minute devotion, but actually having that same action and attitude about God's Word throughout the day. So my prayer for you and my hope is that as you read Psalm 119, that you will look for those attitudes and those actions with regard to God's word, apply those to your life, and that you will see the results of what are mentioned in this chapter.